Welcome back guys and gals to this uh, short series I'm doing on the build of the Lego Porsche 911 set uh, 10295. If you've seen the other videos then you'll see uh, how I'm doing it bag by bag. I've just completed bag number 6 and uh, I'm about to move on to bag number 7. Um, I forgot on the last video just to show you what spare parts I had left over there. That's the small number of spare parts I had left over from uh, from bag number five, and then bag number six has only left me with those two. So we've just got this the speedo rev count, whatever you want to call it, and the uh, quarter circle flat smooth. So uh, yeah, so they're the spare bits I've got. I'm going to be moving on to bag seven shortly. But this is what we are up to so far. So the last bag gave us the the doors, the windscreen and the dashboard. Now I'll just uh, show you some of the features of this. So the doors fit very, very nicely. I love how they've managed to achieve the angles and how the angles slot together so nicely. It's two blocks thick. So you've got the uh, detailing on the door card to match the detailing in the seat. They're like they're using those pieces which give like a quilted effect, make it look like uh, nice stitched leather. Um, I'll just show you the uh, the door mirrors. The door mirrors are quite a different design to what I've seen previously on other uh, series uh, collector series models and. Sorry, um, I didn't mean that. I meant creator, creator models, creators. How they've used these uh, like semicircle pieces. Uh, quite different to some of the other models, like the Mustang, which is very flimsy and you can wiggle it about all over this place. This one's really, really fixed hard into the into the body. Um, I just want to show you the windscreen before I push it all the way back. See, it's on hinged blocks at the bottom. And then you've got that blue piece and there's a little red, uh, you probably can't see it on the camera, but there's a little red claw clips which clip down onto that. And um, like that bit in red, um, that the screen clicks down on so to get the uh, to get the angle. So when I was showing you the previous video, I was showing you the gear lever um, and I was showing you that, wondering what that was going to be, that's where it is, it's where the windscreen clicks in like so one thing i've noticed with the mechanism for the door on this it's just literally got the hinges there's no fancy internal hinge like you get on the mustang which stops the door from opening too far so the doors on this can just swing all the way around the mustang and a cup um, one of the other models i've built i can't remember which one it is now off the top of my head has got like a little mechanism inside which stops the door from going beyond like a certain point but because this hasn't got the mechanism the door can just swing all the way around and um, i think it was the ecto one actually the ecto one's got the same kind of mechanism as the uh um mustang i think i might be i might be mistaken actually i think i'm getting my models mixed up but that's where we are so far so we've got the windscreen um the dashboard and the doors on so it's starting to really look like a car <laughs> starting to really look like a Porsche another nice thing as well because it's the larger size it's got the proper uh, air pillars up the side of the glass whereas the Fiat 500 which I built recently rather than having Lego pieces up the side of the windscreen you just put a sticker to represent the air pillar which uh, it's all right, it does the job, but it's a lot nicer to have a proper piece of Lego up the side. So anyway, moving on to bag seven, that is what it will take us up to. So we shall have the front wings, the front archers, fenders, whatever you want to call them, uh, and the bonnet hood, again, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so this is bag seven, and uh, one of the nice pieces which is in this is the printed Porsche logo as you can see there which is quite nice rather than it being a sticker I mentioned in a previous video the fact that this set doesn't have any stickers which is really nice in fact that just brings me onto the dashboard again because the dials on the dash are obviously printed as well so uh, it's nice that they're printed rather than being stickers 
so there we go um i am going to do one more bag i'm going to do bag seven because then that'll take me up to the point where i make the decision between making the targa or making the turbo so i'll do bag seven and then that'll be it for now i'll probably do the next stage on sunday if i get a chance if not i'll be into next week all right guys so stay tuned for more please browse the channel like and subscribe press the notification bell and uh, you'll keep up to date on uh, on my uploads right thanks a lot cheers bye